Hey Rebel fans, it's Ray and I am back at the Thomas and Mack Center and tonight your Rebels play the Texas State Bobcats. Now, both teams are shooting well so far this season, so if the Rebels can apply what they've learned in previous losses, they'll be able to come out on top tonight. The first meeting between the two schools was a battle with eight lead changes and 11 ties. The Rebels led by as many as 10 points in the first half, getting ahead early. Donnie Tillman got off to a good start, scoring the first seven points for the Rebels, but played limited minutes due to foul trouble. Despite what seemed to be an off night for Amari Hardy, he still led the team in scoring with 18 points. Mbake Jong had a game high of 11 rebounds, taking away those second chance opportunities from the Bobcats. The Rebels were short, junior guard Jonah Antonio out with a hand injury, forcing coach Otzelberger to stretch a bit further down the bench. The two teams were all tied up, entering the second half at 28 apiece. From there, UNLV struggled to get defensive stops and therefore lacked any transitional scoring. The Bobcats' aggressive defense held up the Rebels in their half-court offense as well. Texas State used a 12-2 run to take a 9-point lead and would remain ahead the remainder of the game. The Bobcats defeated the running Rebels 64-57. I would say just getting stops. You know, if we get stops, then we can run out. If we don't get stops, then we got to play in the half court with them. It allows them to run back and get their defense set up. So we got to put our um, our focus on getting stops, and then offensively it opened up for us. You know, as you saw when it was, I think it was 26-16, we was getting stops. Our offense was running good. So if we keep hanging our hats on defense, then the offense will flow a lot easier. We knew Texas State was going to come in here, a highly competitive, formidable opponent who's good defensively. Thought we did a great job in our preparation on a quick turnaround, uh, executing what we needed to do to, in the start of the game. We're up 26-16. Thought we were the more aggressive team, the more physical team. Uh, we're certainly more intentional. And then as the game wore on, whether it was fouls uh, or other things that happened, it slipped away and, and we always came back. Uh, it seemed like we were on our heels on both sides of the court. Uh, for us to win, we know we've got to be the grittier, tougher, uh, stingy team defensively and finished plays on the glass. We weren't able to do that and allowed them to be uh, come away with the victory tonight. And for us, I think we need to get stops and then we play with pace. And two things were happening. One, we stopped getting stops, which now we're taking the ball out of the net and we're walking it up, so our pace is not the same. And then the other thing is they made a concerted effort to go the offensive boards, and I think we were a bit fatigued when we were able to get the rebound and we ended up walking it up. So. Uh, I think they did a better job, you know, down the stretch at the end of the first half and in the second half, having the tempo they wanted. That's something that we've got to be, uh, you know, we've got to maintain our focus, our toughness, and our competitive spirit, uh, you know, throughout the game to keep the game going the way we want. Next up, your Rebels host SMU Saturday night at the Thomas and Mack Center.